Hello everyone, I'm Humam Spartali from Aachen University in Germany and my presentation is focused on the kinematics of the origami water bomb tessellation uh, which enables an efficient construction of thin concrete shells by folding. To use the modern efficient and high performance composites such as textile reinforced concrete in a sustainable way, the design should fulfill the following requirements. A minimal material consumption is needed in addition to high ultimate load and high deformation capacity. To achieve these requirements, uh, an optimal interplay between these three structural levels is needed, namely from the lowest level of the material behavior until cross-section design and finally the global structural form. Each one of these levels provides a wide range of design options which can be harmonized to reach the optimal design. In this work, the focus is on the structural form that will be achieved by folding. So, to build thin walled uh, structures, the feature of origami art of folding flat surfaces into spatial forms is utilized. More specifically, the so-called water bomb tessellation is used in this work which provides interesting structural features and is highly configurable. Using folding, one can produce these spatial structures quickly uh, using reusable folding formworks as we see in this prototype of a folded shell made of textile reinforced concrete. Now to obtain the wide range of global geometrical forms, the water bomb cell is parameterized and its folding kinematics is algebraically solved. In contrast to existing numerical origami uh, models which are computationally demanding, the presented algebraic description provides instant solutions for the global form. So let's start with the description of the water bomb cell kinematics. Starting from a flat cell with water bomb pattern, we distinguish two options for folding the, ba the base, namely symmetrical folding and asymmetrical folding. We will start with a symmetrically folded cell. So we have this base pattern which can be parameterized using uh, three parameters A, B and C uh, that correspond to the, uh, the, the, these lengths and uh, parameter gamma, gamma which is the angle between uh, z-axis and the mountain fold here. And this parameter controls the folding process, so when gamma is 90 degrees, the uh, cell is fully flat. Therefore, we have in total here four parameters for this cell. Now, to describe the kinematics algebraically, we construct these three kinematic conditions relating the coordinates of the upper right corner to the cell parameters. These conditions are obtained supposing a rigid material from the fact that folding lines as well as angles between folding lines remain constant during folding. And by solving these um, conditions for uh, upper right corner co coordinates, the whole kinematics is defined because the positions of all other corners, uh, corner points can be calculated using symmetry. The obtained closed form solutions are shown here, which are all functions of the four parameters A, B, C, and gamma. We see here that in this symmetrically folded uh, cell, the x coordinate of u upper right is always a during folding. However, this is not the case in the asymmetric cell. In the case of asymmetric cell, we introduce the x coordinate of u upper right as an extra parameter, allowing an asymmetric folding about yz plane. Now, to describe the kinematics here, it's enough to um, it's enough to de uh, define the coordinates of uh, u upper right and u upper left uh, points because the other two points can be calculated correspondingly. So we introduce these five conditions which are again based on supposing a rigid folding material. These five con uh, equations are solved for the coordinates of the upper left corner here and the y and z of the upper right corner which yield rather lengthy closed form solutions that are trimmed here for simplicity. However, the complete solution is of course in the paper. In this case, these uh, relations depend on the five parameters A, B, C, gamma and X upper right that control the kinematics of this asymmetrically folded cell. Now that the kin kinematics of the individual cell is defined, is described, we are ready to assemble these cells for the whole to, to form the whole uh, water bomb tessellation. To do this, we apply some compatibility conditions. So we start from a master cell 
as that is highlighted here in green, then the surrounding cells can be defined based on a specific rotation, theta, and a shift along x-axis. Let's now move to a demonstration video that shows kinematics using our interactive app based on Jupyter platform. First, we see the symmetrically folded cell with the effect of changing the four parameters. And uh, in the following, we see the asymmetrically folded cell. We see, for example, the effect of changing the additional parameter x upper right and also some other parameters like a. And because of the closed form solutions, we can instantly see the effect of changing the set parameters on the global shape of the shell. Here we see also the ability to control the curvature with keeping the same cross section height. The efficiency of the uh, algebraic solution can be exploited in a parametric study that shows examples of achievable shell geometries using different parameters with the corresponding water bomb cells. The parameter theta on the vertical axis is a global curvature, and we see that negative as well as positive values for curvature are obtainable. Now that the geometry is captured, we are ready to move to the next step, namely analyzing the structural performance of the shell by applying nonlinear finite element analysis, which will be achieved in a coming development step. By this, I reach the end of my oops, of my presentation. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'm ready to hear your questions.